Yeah, this video is in reference to the people that I've met, the people that I've known in the past that were Christians and have left the faith basically because they wanted to live out their lives in a way that was dishonoring God, in particular the area of sexuality. These were people that said, I no longer want to be a Christian because I want to have sex and I want to f not feel guilty about having sex and so therefore I want to leave the Christian faith. And I've even heard people say that because of what Jesus says in Matthew 5, if you look at a woman with lust, you've already committed adultery with her in her heart, that that command was just too much for them, so they had to leave Christianity. Yeah, I met a girl a couple of, maybe 10 years ago, who was gaining weight, and I asked her, you know, why are you gaining weight? And she was on some sort of day-after pill. And I asked her, why on earth would you be on a day-after pill? She said, because I can't control myself. And I kindly said to her that no one ever died for a lack of sexual activity. But the reality is, is that our culture, specifically the North American culture, has made sex a god. Watch TV, look at what people like on the internet. Sex has become a god. And so there might be atheists out there, but probably one of their gods is sex. But a lot of people think that Christians hate sex, that we're against sex. Well, listen to what this atheist says about what Christians think about sex. How do we know that it isn't real? I mean, aside from the fact that they're, they're terrified of sex and that's a strong indicator that it's a religious origin. That isn't exactly correct, sunshine. The Bible actually talks a fair amount about sex in ways that are glorifying to God. And one book in particular that you could look at is the book of Song of Songs which I'll be doing a video on in a couple of weeks, so look forward to that. But what I wanted to say about this is that God wants us and, and allows us to have sex, but in the, within the parameters of what He says okay is okay, not what we feel at that exact moment. Sex is designed by God between a marriage between a man and a woman within the confines of them being committed to one another forever. To say that you are going to leave the faith or become an atheist because of sex is giving up the eternal pleasures of God, of the enjoyment of God, for most of you guys, a very, very short term amount of pleasure. Thanks for watching.